and I know that uh, so, um, most of you will have known him. You'll have met him maybe at the conference, maybe at the bird fair. For me, Derek kind of was, along with Martin and Tim who organised the bird fair, he was kind of one of the faces of the bird fair at Rutland for many years. And this photo, I think, kind of summarises up Derek's enthusiasm for, uh, Derek's enthusiasm for life, uh, and particularly his enthusiasm for birds. So whether you met him in his adopted Carnarvonshire, his native Suffolk, or further afield, much has already been written about Derek. There's already been some fantastic uh, tributes uh, in, the, in the papers. Uh, and not least, of course, by himself in his book that he published last year, uh, which he said wasn't an autobiography. He was very keen to tell us that. Uh, but Birds Coping with an Obsession uh, is a fantastic read, and I encourage you to, uh, if you haven't already got a copy. I'm browsing through the comments on various websites and fora, particularly uh, in South and West Wales over the last week. The thing that comes across, I think, is, as well as all the great things that Derek did for conservation, um, everyone knew that he was a thoroughly good bloke and that people loved the fact that he had that massive enthusiasm for birds. I think we've lost a big voice for wildlife. Um, Derek was happy to call a spade a spade, and anybody who was on the receiving end of that spade kind of knew that. He upset a few people along the way, but that's often necessary to get the right results in conservation. Um, and after Derek retired from a long career with the Wildlife Trusts, he kind of grabbed what by the scruff of his neck and has helped to rejuvenate it over the last few years. Um, and I think for that, we within Wales should all be grateful. So before we get the AGM underway, I'd like us just to take a few moments to remember Derek, to celebrate his life, uh, and for us to think about his family, uh, Beryl, uh, and, and the rest of his family. He wouldn't have wanted a minute's silence, I'm sure, but we think he'd be happy with a, with a minute's bird song. So we'd ask you to stand for a moment and remember Derek Moore, OBE.